Hi, we've just released a new 2D drawings feature for Shaper GD. It's available on the App Store starting from version 4.0. And we've rolled this out to all business tier subscribers and all current pro tier subscribers have been upgraded to the business tier at no extra cost. We know many of you have been waiting for a really, really long time to get access to 2D drawings. We're really excited to see what you're going to be using this to create. So let's dive right in. So we've got a, uh, a design here, which we've created within Shaper 3D, and we're going to go ahead and create a brand new drawing out of it. So let's start by quickly selecting all of the bodies within this design using the items menu, and let's create a new drawing. Uh, we, of course, will support both ISO and ANSI standards. Let's uh, create an A3 drawing. Let's set the default scale to 1 is to 1. And let's exclude the base views just so that we can go ahead and try out a couple of different things with regards to the views. So we've got a basic empty sheet here. Uh, at the moment, the title block at the bottom isn't very customizable, but we'll be iterating on this and adding more and more ability to customize that over the coming months. You can go ahead and add a number of basic views. We're going to be adding support for auxiliary section and detail view tool over the coming months. Let's start by inserting a couple of uh, views of all of the bodies we've got in this design. So let's add a left view. Let's shrink that down to a smaller scale. And let's add an isometric view for context. And also shrink that down and move both of these here. Um, in Shaper 3D drawings, it's also going to be possible to mix and match different body selections within the, uh, within the same sheet. So we're going to go ahead and change bodies and let's create a couple of views with just this bottom rod section. And let's add a left view and let's add a back view. And we're going to go ahead and show hidden lines in this back view tone. And let's now include the head section and also include the left view and the back view. Okay, now a really, really important part of any drawing is of course uh, annotating it. You can of course add dimensions and notes within this initial release. We'll be adding support for different geometries like center lines and center points pretty soon. So let's start by adding a couple of overall dimensions to, uh, to the combined design here. We can go through two routes. We can select different dimensioning tools using the dimension menu here. Let's go ahead and do that for this view. So let's go and select the maximum here and select those two. And let's go ahead using line to line to add the overall width. We also support text notes. Uh, let's go ahead and add a couple to this view here. So we can add the head and that is the rod. And we can reposition this view a little bit. Okay. Now, of course, uh, within Shaper 3D, we are also really big fans of the idea of an adaptive UI. I've gone down the tool-based approach. We can really, really easily, uh, using adaptive UI, put together a variety of different dimensions without needing to think about what tool we're going to use, just what pieces of geometry we'd like to dimension. So uh, we can quickly add a radius here. We can have the overall height for this here. And we can have a radius between these parts here. And let's add a diameter to this center circle. So we've really, really quickly added a variety of different dimension types using Adaptive UI within the Drawings feature. Now, of course, we know that once you've created your drawing, uh, you'll be going through your manufacturing process, you'll be collaborating on that, and you'll often learn stuff which will make you want to go back to your design and make changes. And of course, that's completely possible within Shaper 3D. So let's say we'd like to go ahead and enlarge in 
the radius here, so 16 millimeters, we can very easily go back to our drawing and we're going to see that we've got an update available. And we should see that the bottom radius there is going to become 16. As a final step, once we've gone ahead and added all the dimensions we'd like to, we can go ahead and export this drawing. At launch, we're supporting three formats. DWG and DXF will let you re-import this drawing into other design tools uh, to further tweak it to your needs or collaborate with others. And we also support PDF, which is going to let you print this directly. Let's go ahead and export this PDF, save it, and let's preview the finished PDF. If you have a printer connected to your iPad, you're going to be able to go from starting a brand new design all the way through to printing a manufacturing ready drawing on your iPad. Thank you so much for taking some time to look through this uh, demo. Uh, like I said, we know many of you have been waiting really, really long for this functionality. So we're super, super excited to see what you're able to build now that you've got it. We're going to continue working on this and adding more and more functionality. Uh, please leave a comment with uh, what you're most excited about seeing come to the drawings feature. Thank you.